The Ace Magic 8008 is a really, I mean, really, really small PC, but it has some pretty big features. Um, thank you to Ace Magic for sending this out to me. This is their Intel i9 version. And as always, you're going to get my honest, transparent, consumer friendly review. Um, I hope that this video gives you enough information to let you know if this is the right buy for you. So let's jump into the details. Unboxing the AD08 is short and quick, but it has a high quality feel and presentation. The PC has great productivity specs and should be decent at some light gaming. Inside the box you get an HDMI cable, the power supply, and the PC, as well as the manual. The build quality of the PC is very nice and it feels like a premium machine. No corners were cut on the design aesthetic or build quality. It's very well protected in shipping and all the sensitive parts are covered. I wanted to make sure that I shared that because at the budget level that is not always the case. There is a ton of connectivity on the I.O especially for a PC this small. The number of inputs were completely surprising for me, especially for such a small case. Setup was super easy for me and Adele. The AD08 ships with Windows 11 pre-installed, and even though I have kept my editing and gaming PCs on Windows 10 to avoid any compatibility issues, setting up Windows 11 was straightforward and easy to use. Logging in with my normal account imported most settings and I was easily able to add any Windows-based programs from the Microsoft Store library memory of apps I have installed on other devices. After loading up essential programs and completing all Windows-based updates, I began to download and install my gaming launchers, starting with Xbox Game Pass for PC. This is not a sponsored ad, but I cannot say enough how much I love that program. With my launchers loaded and installed, I began to run a few tests to check the synthesized performance of this PC using Geekbench and Cinebench. This is always interesting to discuss as I don't truly believe 100% in these tests as they show a simulated load through a controlled program and parameters which won't always account for real world usage and the random stuff we get up to as creators or users, even if it is relative data. This doesn't account for degradation of hardware or change in storage capacity and integrity, etc. However, I do give 100% credit to the fact that these tests create a foundational baseline to test all PCs against an understood standard, which in itself creates the level of consistency we need to base judgments. Let's talk gaming. This is a mini PC, so it's not going to be as powerful as a regular PC. This means it's not built for AAA gaming as it does not have a dedicated graphics card installed. This has integrated Intel graphics, which means it can run non-graphically intense games. This means games like Minecraft, Roblox, Solitaire, any of those casual style games that don't need dedicated graphics. However, using Game Pass PC Ultimate Cloud allows you to play AAA games at 1080p. The Wi-Fi 6 connection or Ethernet port allows for great connectivity and I was able to play Starfield with no problem via cloud while I was not able to play it installed due to it of course not meeting the minimum GPU requirements. So Game Pass opens this PC up for some real gaming, especially if you're okay with just 1080p60. The Ace Magic AD08 has a lot to offer and it is very consumer friendly. It comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and 512 gigabytes hard drive. However, it can be easily upgraded to 64 gigabytes of RAM and up to 2 terabytes of storage. It's extremely easy to access the installation area by removing the magnetic side plate and installing the upgrades. It also has RGB that can be controlled by the pre-installed software that pops up when turning on the PC. There are a few options and effects to choose from, and this PC also has a three-stage performance knob that allows you to set it to silent, auto, or performance mode. In my experience so far, it doesn't get very loud at all. Even when completing the Geekbench and Cinebench testing in performance mode, it just doesn't get loud by PC standards.
So who was the Ace Magic AD084? I think this is for people that need a casual setup or a productivity only setup, a secondary setup in the house, a guest gaming slash work style setup for like the professional Microsoft Office environments. It's actually really good probably as well for like traveling. So traveling with a you know monitor like I have on my desk, the portable monitor. Uh, that way you can take a full desktop style computer with you. Um, and I think this is an amazing gift for anybody that is into Game Pass or other services like it. Um, especially a really great gift for kids with the holiday season coming up because you can play all of the games that they should be playing and you can stay away from the games that they probably should not be playing because it's not strong enough to play those. Um, but if you're a hardcore gamer, I wouldn't suggest this PC because you're not going to be able to get out of it what you want. But this can be used for so many other things as well, such as like smart homes, theaters, um, you know, uh, Plex systems, servers. Uh, different systems and setting things like that that you can build. I mean, the possibilities are endless because it's a full-on Windows 11 PC, right? And so it's not just it's it's. I would suggest this because you can get it very often under 400 bucks. I would suggest this way more than something like a Chromebook, which you're going to also pay like 450, 500, 600 bucks for some of the good Chromebooks by Samsung and LG, etc. I would definitely suggest this way over that as long as you're okay with it not being you know, portable with its own screen as you would have to take something like the portable monitor with it. Um, but I mean, that's it. You know, I, I think this is a really great PC for, for again, for those users. And then again, hardcore gamers, not so much. Um, if you like this video, uh, please consider, and this is your first time stopping by, consider joining the Cozy Coalition and subscribing. I heard there is a new YouTube um, graphic that celebrates with you when you subscribe now so hint hint chart that down below um but also if you like this review check out this review here where i reviewed the brand new scuff envision pro which may be the peripheral of the year but that's it for me so as always stay cozy in that crazy world and i'll see you in the next video peace